So if you have a hard time inflating, there may be that the flap that's on the inside of the valve is getting in your way. I'll show you a little trick. You can take something like a chopstick or a pin or something that's not, not sharp because you don't want to risk puncturing, but just something that'll fit down into the valve. And the idea is um, if you, you can push and you can also kind of pinch and you want to kind of see which way the valve opens. In this case, it's opening like this for me. So what I want to do is I want to push it open. And if I can keep it open by squeezing it, what I want to do is I want to reach in and grab it. So the point of the chopstick is to get it to the point where it's kind of partially open. And now I'm actually grabbing the back side of it through the material. What I want to do is I want to pull it back. And I'm basically kind of ripping that valve open. So it's never going to quite go back the way it did. Then it's not going to be in your way when you go to put your inflation tube in. Another thing, when you put your inflation tube in, if you kind of twist, that helps it push past the valve. And you can hear a difference. That's blocked. And that's not, and of course you can also see how quickly it inflates. So if you kind of listen to that difference, that's a good indicator that you've got it in and past that, uh, that little flap. Also, if you hang on to the chopstick, they're great if you want to make sure the valve's not in the way when you're going to deflate.